So, The Hobbit, The Desolation of Smaug, or Smog. I thought personally it was Smog. Uh, there's different ways of pronouncing that name. Me personally, I like to call him Scrooge McDragon. Yeah, it kind of very fitting, uh, I believe. And so this is the the next part and a little on along of this three parter of the Hobbit sort of book. Uh, first one was a really kind of like character driven kind of story. It was kind of really good. I kind of enjoyed it a little bit. But now we're on to the second part, and this one I have a lot of feelings on. First off, I will say I did absolutely enjoy this movie. I think, to me, I think this is better than the first one because of how kind of long, so sort of boring it was. Because it was a character-driven kind of movie. This one is just kind of a bit more sort of action. And in terms of action, there is kind of it's not non-stop action, but there's there are quite a lot of action scenes happening. And one thing that's quite good is. The time of this film doesn't seem, seems to be quite um, short than it really is. I mean, yes, it is a long movie, and I'll get to that. Um, but it never feels long, so that's quite sort of good. Um, you know, all the... Martin Freeman really is, you know, really good in this in this movie in particular. Um, you know, he's... You know, he's battling, like, spiders, and he's going into the... You know, trying to get some precious stone inside all this gold which to be honest I would have just taken gold and ran away um, and I'll say this the dragon is fucking awesome really really cool I mean you just get a good size of scale of this dragon and it's just like and Benjamin Cumberbatch really is the big like really voiced the dragon really really well uh, very menacing very kind of like sort of dark and off oh, it was just utter utter brilliance um but i kind of want to talk about my feelings of the film in a negative way and problems with it as well now the first off i will say is like the length okay like i said right it doesn't feel that long right but this is a two and a half plus hour movie right it's like 160 minutes long so and the thing is, that's going to turn away a lot of moviegoers, like, just casual moviegoers, like, they're not going to spend, go into the cinema, because here's the thing, right, before, after all, like, the, tr like, TV ad, like, the adverts, trailer adverts, and then kind of, like, stupid, stupid cinema thing, which took about, about 30 to 40 minutes, I think it was, like, 40 minutes, and then the film came on, you've got to add those minutes on top of that, yeah, you're going to be in there for quite a while, um, so I think that can put up, pull off, and put off quite a lot of moviegoers. Second thing I'll say is, yes, while there was a lot of non-stop kind of action towards it, it just kind of felt that that's all this film was. It was just like a big action like sequences, like from kind of like from start to finish in a way, and never really kind of enough time to really kind of put a lot of character development in it. I mean, the thing is, we're introduced to to a couple of new characters and. To, we're also into like new like new settings, so I would have kind of liked to know a bit of history. But can they kind of like talk about it in the in the film a wee bit? But I would like to have known just a little bit more history between these characters and places. And then the next sort of point I will say is kind of like the end. Now, the end is going to be kind of like a split kind of thing. Yeah, you're going to love the ending, or you're going to hate the ending. I'm kind of bitten a bit of both because. Well, I did like how it ended, I am annoyed and why it ended in that way. And essentially I was looking back at the whole film, like on my way home and thinking about kind of about today, that this film, there's a certain point in the film, at the start of the film, where I believe it should have, that's where the first Hobbit should have ended. And then there's a certain point, and then just kind of right after that, that's where this, like the second Hobbit and probably whatever happens in the third hall but should have ended. To me this felt like it, it had to kind of like um, stretch the limit um, as much of the second film so that they can actually make three parters. If a film was originally going to be two parters then why not make it just a two parter film? Stop being so greedy. And because here's the thing I'll say, there was a scene that I saw from the very first trailer of the very first Hobbit and it appeared in this sort of screen and funny enough I was talking about this 
to a couple of my friends like the other day about it. Um, so as, as I saw that scene, I was like, they really just wanted to stretch this out. And then one of the things I'll say, the back and forth of characters quite a lot is quite unsettling. Like you, you kind of feel like you can't get into one scene and then you go back into another scene that's very kind of like different and you're like, oh, why did you have to do that? And one of the problems as well is there's going to be an extended cut of this as soon as um, before like, the third one comes out. And I was kind of hoping that they wouldn't do that, but they, I saw an extended version for the first one of The Hobbit and I know there's going to be one for the second one, so there is that. Um, but really this film is pretty damn good. And what's my final verdict? I like it. Right? I, I liked it. I think this film was, was good. I think this was a lot better than the first one. But for the average moviegoer, I don't think they're going to like it that much because because of the length and whatnot and I think Lord of the Rings fans will just truly will completely love this film because the backs are back into that Lord of the Rings kind of universe but the third one has to really who knows how long the first the third one's going to be and and all that but I will say this I'm not looking that forward to the third one even still um I probably I'm gonna make another video on on this topic probably next few days. Uh, just a little thing I kind of want to kind of like get out my chest a little bit. Um, probably a wee bit more in detail what a couple of the negatives that I said. Uh, so probably stay tuned for that one. And with that sort of guys, I will see you later.